another episode of Bubblegum Connects, where we connect with musicians, creatives, artists, and most importantly, we connect with you. Today, we're talking to multidisciplinary artist, Milan Guana. Welcome to the show. Hey. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, who you are, for the people that don't know, the very few people that don't know. Hi guys, um, my name is Mila. I am a photographer, art director, and creative director, communication designer. I'm just multidisciplinary in my creatives. Um, I didn't start off as a creative, to be honest. Um, I've always been a studious kid, but I found creativity after dropping out, so. But you did art in high school. Yeah, but I didn't think that was my my direction. You know, I've always wanted to be an accountant or like an architect. Okay, the yeah. money, where the money is. <laughs> yeah. Do you own Curated by Mila? Yes. What is the idea behind that? What is it? Um, Curated by Mila started when I started doing photography. It, it basically incorporates the creative direction and the photography, not so much the design part. Although my design, the design part of it just aid like what I do photography wise. Um, so uh, I love to shoot women. I'm mostly a woman photographer. Um, yeah. Why women specific? So people can see how diverse we are as a race of black women, because you know, in the media, you know, you know, in the media, you can only see like two extremes. Yeah. of like the spectrum which is like either very dark-skinned women or very light-skinned people you know so i've just been trying to find the balance within the mid-tones of that do you usually go up to a model and say can i take a picture of you or do um, they come to you what i usually do is um while i was actually studying i would like put up on my story and be like does anyone want a model for me mm -hmm. and then it just kind of started like that where i would just invite women to like the studio because i used to have access to Glow, Glow Hire Studios in Rosebank. So I used to just spend my weekends shooting women. <laughs> yeah. How do you sort of balance being a creative director, a photographer, all these multi-disciplines? Um, whatever job comes. It depends on who approaches me for what they need, who trusts me enough to do creative directing prior to the shoot itself, because then I can be involved throughout the whole process. So that's how I get to like live out all of my creativity. What's been your favorite project that you've worked on? Take us through um, like the stages. My recent project is um, the Lord Cares cover actually. Mm -hmm. We started conceptualizing um, what the look and feel of the whole rollout would be. From there, um, we've just built on, it was a very long process and a lot to think about. And there was a lot of planning that was involved with that and it was really, it was fun. It was fun because it was like taking an idea that someone had and like for it to be something big and for her to enjoy and it aligns with her image a lot. So it was really, that was my favorite. Okay. And that's my most recent um, project that I've done actually. What's your dream like job? Like, hmm. is it a brand? Is it a person? What would be the dream for Mila? I don't think I want to work too much for people. But um, as curated by Mila, I do want to like expand, incorporating other things like curating um, coffee books, curating clothes, <laughs> curating, um, I don't know what else I'm good at, but just curating things that I, I love to do. So I just wanted to make it an umbrella kind of brand. Mm -hmm. And then from there on branch into any market. I just want to be able to cover a lot because at the moment I'm also like trying to learn videography. I'm not so much the camera handling, but like art direction behind videography and stuff like that. So I just want to be able to fill any spot in a film or photographic set. Yeah. yeah. How do you use social media to sort of get yourself out there, to get the brand out there? How are you making sure you get clients, basically? I've actually been blessed enough to not have to look for clients. Um, they've approached me because I think from about the pandemic, when the pandemic started, I lived, I live alone. I've been living alone for a while. So even through the pandemic, I was like living alone. So I did a lot of posting on Instagram to grow my own page. And then I think from growing that page, it was easy to find people to work with because I had, I'd gone a lot, I like enough followers. 
um, to be able to market myself without having to market myself. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's easy to just post a picture and like not say anything and then direct people to my page, my art page. And that's how I've been doing it. So it's like self-promotion from my own page. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you get your inspiration from besides black women and that sort of thing? I love to look at um, old Renaissance paintings. I personally enjoy Rembrandt because a lot of my photography is one light. I enjoy using one light only because it just makes, it makes everything dramatic. I don't need some drama. <laughs> um, so yeah, I look at a lot of Rembrandt paintings and like just study those paintings. And that's where the fine art side of me came into photography. That's really what um, informs my imagery and my content and how I follow through with the shots as well. What have you learned in the process of owning your own business? And what advice would you give to young entrepreneurs out there? I learned that it is a lot of work, um, but you do need a lot of consistency in everything that you do do. Um, you have to, even on the, on the hardest days when you don't feel like showing up, you have to keep going and that's the kind that's the only advice I have is consistency that's the only thing that's going to get you to where you need to be so it's been a good journey would you say and if like you could tell your younger self any advice for future self would you what would um, you say I would tell her to just keep doing what she wants to do because I think showing up for myself from the get-go you know from after high school and after dropping out it's been working for me better than anything else has, you know? And I'm really proud of who she has become um, because I think looking back, I would have never thought I'd be in a creative space at all. I don't think my parents would have allowed it, um, but I am here, you know? And I'm glad that she took a chance on herself, you know, so yeah. You guys should definitely go check out my personal page. Um, that's Arden and Self, but you can also check out my my um, work page. It's called Curated by Mila on Instagram. I don't have a website. Instagram is the only place you'll find me. Um, yeah. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for having Thank me. You. Thank you for watching another episode of Bubblegum Connects. We hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this with everyone you know. See you next time.